Season 1 of Warrior Nun introduces the Order of the Cruciform Sword, a group of warrior sisters who have been tasked with protecting Earth from demons. The leader of the sisters is the Warrior Nun, who possesses a mystical artifact known as the Halo that gives them supernatural powers. After a fight with some demons and mercenaries, the Warrior Sisters retreat to a church where they tend to Sister Shannon, the mortally wounded Warrior Nun. As the demons enter the church, the nuns decide to remove the Halo from the dying Sister Shannon and hide it in a dead body found in the church. That body belonged to Ava Silva, a 19-year-old quadriplegic raised in an orphanage by the abusive Sister Frances. When Ava came of age to leave the orphanage, Sister Frances killed her with poison. Upon receiving the halo, Ava is resurrected, fully healed, and granted many new abilities, allowing her to walk for the first time in years. As the nuns and their attackers fight, Ava flees from the chaos. While enjoying her newfound freedom, Ava befriends a man named JC and his gang of petty criminals. Ava also returns to her orphanage to confront Sister Frances and save her friend Diego from further abuse. When Sister Frances tries to kill Ava, Ava is forced to kill her in self-defense. Meanwhile, the OCS attempts to locate Ava to take the Halo back from her. OCS is led by Father Vincent, and other members include Shotgun Mary, Sister Beatrice, Sister Camilla, and Sister Lilith, who was next in line to be the Halo Bearer and will stop at nothing to take what she deemed was rightfully hers from Ava. Also after the Halo was an elite demon known as the Tarisk, which was on a mission to claim the Halo for Hell. With the power of the Halo, the Demons of Hell could bring down Heaven itself. And to make things even more difficult for Ava, biotech company Arctech are merging science and faith to develop massive scientific advancements, like the creation of a quantum portal known as the Ark. They used a rare otherworldly metal known as Divinium in their experiments, which was the only element that could kill the Tarisk or the Warrior Nun. With the power of the Halo, Arctech leaders Dr. Jillian Salvius and Christian Schaefer could have limitless potential. For Jillian, these experiments were personal, as her son Michael had a rare blood disorder that was killing him, and she hoped to create a portal powerful enough to send him to a world without pain. When OCS finally finds and apprehends Ava, they explain to her the history of their order. They originated during the First Crusade, when the angel Adriel came down from heaven and gave his halo to the fierce warrior Ariella tasking her with fighting the demons and protecting Earth from Hell. Father Vincent believes that the Halo chose Ava, and so they are now asking her to join the Order and use the Halo's powers for good. Ava is then trained in her new Warrior Nun powers by Mother Superion. Only a Warrior Nun had the ability to see demons on Earth, so Ava's cooperation was essential for the Order's success. Unfortunately, Ava is tired of living a life controlled by others, and abandons OCS to be with JC. Lilith pursues Ava and confronts her with a Divinium Sword, but the women are then attacked by the Tarisk. The Tarisk impales Lilith before Ava attacks it with the Divinium Sword, causing both the demon and Lilith to vanish. Although the sisters mourn the death of Lilith, the vanished warrior somehow returns from Hell via a portal, with new abilities she doesn't yet understand. Ava then returns to the Order and find Sister Shannon's hidden room, which contains a hoard of Divinium and the diary of all the past warrior nuns. The diary reveals that the remains of Adriel were buried under the Vatican, kept there by Cardinal Doretti in the hopes of harnessing their power and maintaining people's need for the church. As season one comes to a close, Jillian and Christian agree to help Ava, Vincent, and the sisters to sneak into the Vatican's catacombs to steal Adriel's bones. For the Order, they would be keeping the power out of the corrupt hands of Doretti. For Arctech, Jillian could harness the power to use on her Ark. But Ava has a different idea, intending to destroy Adriel's remains to rid the world of his powers, ending the centuries-long cycle of nuns fighting demons. Unfortunately, when Ava enters the vault, she discovers that a very much alive Adriel was trapped inside. He reveals to Ava that he was actually a demon who stole a halo from an angel and had only placed it in Ariella to hide it from a Tarisk. And now that Ava was trapped in the vault with him, he could finally take the halo back. Back. As Ava and Adriel fight, their energy powers the Ark, which Michael is able to pass through into another world. The sisters rescue Ava from the vault and flee, 
but Vincent confronts Adriel, revealing that he had secretly been the one to kill Sister Shannon and set in motion the events necessary to free Adriel from his prison. As Vincent stands by his new master, Adriel summons an army of demons to attack the sisters. And as the season fades to black, Sister Mary is completely swarmed by the demons, her fate unknown.